Check out this sculpture. It's something I made with a buddy of mine a few years ago. It's supposed to be a toad made out of old bike parts and bike tires and rusty metal and random bits and pieces, and I love it. It sits in the woods over here on my property and just reminds me of a really good time. Unfortunately, it's rusting away and falling apart and looking even worse than it ever has. And I'd like to find a way to digitally preserve this, maybe 3D scan it or something like that, possibly even 3D print it. And that's where today's sponsor, Prusa 3D, comes in. I'm gonna learn how to make a replica of this today. If you're not familiar with Prusa, they produce 3D printers like these three here. But not just that, they're actually super active in the community. They have weekly community meetups, they have a file repository online where you can find files to 3D print, and they have a YouTube channel just chocked full of super detailed, high quality video tutorials to take your 3D printing to the next level. On a personal note, they produce the printer that is my absolute favorite, even though it is not their latest and greatest and newest technology. The Prusa i3 Mark IIIs has been the workhorse that has so far never failed me, and you're gonna see it in action very soon. While researching how to 3D scan things for this sculpture, one of the tutorials I found was the one on Prusa's YouTube channel, and it was the clearest, most informative one I found, and it's the one I keep going back to when I wanna try out this method. They've actually done two. They've done the original, and they've come back to revisit it and give more details. And the method we're gonna to use today is called photogrammetry. And that's where you take a whole bunch of photos around an object at different angles, and then you feed those into a computer and let it do fancy math to figure out the model from there. So like I said, you have to take a lot of photos. I took so many photos of this model, and you really wanna do it on a day that you don't have super harsh shadows, so like an overcast day or you know, early in the morning or something like that before the sun really starts beaming down on you. After you have your tons of images, we're gonna feed them into software called Meshroom. There are a lot of options and things to tweak and change here, and you should really refer to the tutorial on Prusa's channel to see how that works. And once you've got it all in Meshroom, all you have to do is hit the button to go, and then you can go take a nap or play with your goats. Once Meshroom is finished with your file, you can clean it up a bit in the program of your choice. For example, I use Mesh Mixer to delete the stuff around the model, all this extraneous information here, and then it's ready to 3D print. While you're watching this beautiful time lapse in motion, I want to encourage you to check out Prusa's YouTube channel. It's just packed full of tutorials and different videos teaching you how to use your 3D printer better. They'll improve your skills on, on settings to get prettier prints, how to create models in different ways, and even how to set up this beautiful time lapse rig. Just look at this. I am so excited with how these turned out. I, I realize this sculpture isn't necessarily the most amazing sculpture to look at, but it's important to me. And it turns out it's actually kind of a difficult sculpture to both scan and print. You see, there's all these very thin little areas that were difficult to scan in the photos and lots of little holes but the software did admirably. And then when it comes to 3D printing, there's all kinds of overhangs and places where I really thought I was gonna need support material, but this printer is a trooper and it just spit it out as you saw. No support material needed. It really is impressive what these printers can do. If you'd like to give a try printing this on your own, I've uploaded the file to Prusa Printers, which is their online repository of cool stuff to print. You don't have to have a Prusa 3D printer to use it. It's just another place where you can find awesome stuff to print. So there'll be a link below and you can try printing this sucker if you want. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned something and enjoyed it. I strongly encourage you to go check out uh, Prusa's YouTube channel and really upgrade your skills. 
And just to address this, because I know that people are gonna ask, no, I can't 3D scan the goats this way. I've tried, they won't stay still long enough. I'm gonna have to find another method. I'll see you next time. Be sure to give this channel a subscribe, hit that little notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos.